Welcome back. Hopefully everybody's having an awesome week. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Thanks for stopping back in for another video in the constrictor chamber. So everybody's doing really well in the room. And I just wanted to show you guys that I finally got a male. My first male, it's crazy. All I have are uh, female boas. I mean, I have a couple male uh, ball pythons, but in the boa world, all I've been buying since day one was females, which is perfect. Um, you know, if you plan on breeding because you have to wait so much longer for the females to get ready on size and maturity to try to breed them. But finally, finally, finally got a male. So we are kind of working our way very slowly, possibly into breeding projects with the boas. Well, the boas do confuse me and there's a billion different morphs out there. So trying to get set up and buying the correct males and possibly another right female that would be good in the combos is always tough for me. But as we can see, um, I bought a male snow and I also have the female snow. So I'll get her out in a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit of the differences. As they're younger, they kind of look the same or they look the same to me almost in coloration. So the snow is the anatheristic and the albino. And then the moon glow is the anatheristic albino with the hypo added into it. So they will look different as adults just because of the hypo was added into the moon glow. So I've seen some adult snows where they're very very bright yellow with very very bright white uh, patterns and uh, tail patterns and saddles and then on the moon glows i've only seen one and it was pretty much a whitish snake so i think that would be super cool i think um the the snows and then the moon glows it's just kind of out of the ordinary right now and there's really not too many of them that are for sale that I'm seeing on Morph Market. So we can see how cool her, the tail is. It kind of has some purple hue to it. Um, and then he is, you know, born probably just a couple months ago. But he's doing really, really well. And kind of excited to see how this project will go. And obviously the, the moon glow is 2020. So she is super, super young and we have a lot of... Uh, probably I would say three and a half four years until we can actually even try to breed these two together So the male will be much older. I know a lot of people try to breed their males at around Probably two so I mean not too big of a difference, but you know, it is what it is And then we will we'll just see what happens But I'm really really liking the snows and the moon glows right now because I said it's I don't know. It's just out of the ordinary. A lot of I'm not seeing them anywhere, uh, which is kind of shocking on the pricing for them because you would think if there's not a demand, that the pricing would be not as high as they are. But you never know what's going to come back around in circle onto what is um, in style. So what's not in style really right now does not mean that the snows and the moon glows will not um, jump up in popularity in the next five to ten years so it's i know the imgs are pretty much what's hot right now i am planning on buying um, some imgs and then possibly some vpi stuff which i think would be a really cool project to jump into although both of those are very, 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 very expensive. And so it's just going to take a matter of time on planning what would be the best possible route to go to. And then obviously not crushing the bank account. Well, a hundred percent. So that's light is extremely bright. So this is a pretty smooth service. Um, it looks really good on the, the contrast on some of the snakes that I put on it. So I'm not sure if I can get both of these snakes out and hopefully they don't go crazy, but I might put the moon glow on her lid. All right, so we will see 
how she is. And she is probably a little bit older, but her size is, you know, you can definitely tell the difference on that for both being 2020s. So the Moonglow does have the Hypo gene in it. So we can see the little bit of a difference. We can see those patterns are more visual on the moon glow, but on the tail, try to get the right angle on this. The tail looks a lot more purpley and you can see a little bit better on the, uh, on the snow. So I'm very, very, very excited to watch these two grow up. It feels a little weird buying a male. Uh, it's just kind of something I got to get used to if I'm wanting, if I'm actually wanting to dive into the uh the breeding projects and my plan is to as my females grow up and as i'm buying you know possibly some more possible breeder females or males in the future i am wanting to get more of the pvc cages i was looking at the pull out racks i don't know and they're super expensive so i was looking at freedom breeder and for like a six level it was like $3,500 and these are, I mean, they're not gigantic and they're not as big, but these are $150. And then you can go with the, the, uh, the six by twos, which I think are around 200, maybe a little over $200. So I really think the PVCs would save money in the long run. You can still breed in them and they're not very tall. So they don't take up too much space. So I have four here, you know, if I wanted a little bit lower to the ground, I could add one and then I could always add one to the top. So I really think as all of my other boas become, uh, you know, bigger and into the adultish size, I will be putting most of them into PVCs like this. And these hold humidity extremely well, as we can see right here. So it's 84 in this PVC and then, and then it's up to 92% on the humidity. So not 100% sure why it's spiking so high, but this uh, Repti chip is definitely, definitely holding humidity extremely well. And I got to clean her cage out because a lot of people say that the Repti chip molds on them, but I've noticed that mine molds too, but it's only where they pee. So, if, you know, it's, it's hard to see where they're, where they're peeing or sometimes it's hard to spot where they're going to go into the bathroom in general on the Repti chip, which is why I like the smaller boas on the paper towels because you can see if they have any uh, digestion issues or anything like that pretty fast. And as they're younger, um, we don't, we don't, we want to catch something that something's wrong with them pretty quickly. So uh, he is pretty curious. So I'm going to be feeding these to, um, mice and i think i'm going to go on a seven day schedule with them and we'll see how that works out and then of course i can adjust longer or maybe drop them down to maybe a six day but i don't think boas need to go down uh any less than seven i was watching a jason i think his name is jason ramadani video and i think he did one on his feeding i think he was feeding his boas five to seven days and they were doing perfectly fine so We'll just have to see what actually happens with them, but man, I cannot wait to see how both of these turn out, but I'm super excited on watching them grow up, watching their colors change and stuff like that. I really like buying this, the, uh, the bow is that change the colorations. So obviously these two will, the IMGs will. The Argentines, uh, they change colors from adult, from babies to adults. And then she's getting all fired up right now. So she's going to strike the glass. So let's leave her alone for right now. But that is it, guys. Just wanted to show you the first male I'm super excited about. Like I said, it feels weird buying a male. But... Uh, we will we'll see how all this turns out and I really appreciate the support appreciate all the uh, the the good comments and all the help from you guys and we will you know I'll do my best to keep all of these snakes healthy and 
and stuff like that. So I do not, um, she's been in my, um, she's been in my care for, you know, a couple days. So everything is doing well. I have not fed him yet. So I'll try to get these two on the same feeding schedule just so it makes everything easier. And uh, so be prepared for more updates on these two right here. So put her, him back in his cage, which this cage is a little big. And then I could probably go buy a smaller one. But as of right now, both of these are working out. So again, I appreciate the support. Hopefully you guys like the new addition. And if you guys have any questions about what's going on in the room or with the snakes or anything like that, please let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next video.